It's an image that's now iconic. Captain Sir Tom Moore walking a hundred laps of his garden, raising millions for charity. By his side was his family, including his daughter Hannah Ingram Moore. But since her father's death, she's come under scrutiny. Why did you decide to go ahead with the pool, the spa pool, despite not having any planning permission? There's an ongoing inquiry into the charity she set up in Sir Tom's name. And the latest controversy is this, an unauthorised spa in her back garden. Planning bosses have said it must be demolished and an appeal by the Ingram Moors has now been rejected. Neighbour Jill Bosduan used to see this line of trees at the end of her garden. Now, this is her view. Jill's elderly mother lives with her and was devastated when the annex was built. She's 99, so she'll sit in our family room looking out. Now she's just got this brick wall. I mean, she used to sit out there and cry. So this morning, when I said to her, it's got to be taken down, yeah, she was crying with tears of joy. The family have said the facilities could be used for rehabilitation sessions for older people, but this suggestion was rejected without detailed evidence of how that would actually work. The Ingram Moors have been told the building must be demolished within three months. They could now go to the High Court to appeal that decision. Janice Green is a local parish councillor who wants the annex gone. She thinks all of this has tainted Sir Tom's legacy. Personally, I think he's turning in his grave. Why do you say that? because it's not what he wanted. The Thomas More Foundation was set up as a charity to do good for the NHS causes, not the NHS itself, but for the other causes. A story about an inspiring and dedicated veteran that captivated so many has been overshadowed, something Captain Sir Tom would surely never have dreamt of. Becky Cottrell, Sky News, Bedfordshire.